Send it, Brandon. <laughs> That thing sounds insane. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I've been meaning to record this vlog for like the past two weeks, but me and Felipe finally had the chance to meet up and film this video. And the whole point of this video is we want to convince a V8 muscle car owner to switch over to a BMW. Damn, this guy's going crazy. <laughs> Let's hear the Mustang next. We heard Brandon's car. Let's hear how the V8 sounds. <laughs> that actually sounds good. Damn. Let's see if he does another pull on his way back. We'll wait for him right here. Bro, that actually sounds good as hell. I really like how his car sounds. Let's hear his Brandon one more time. Hey, do a launch control. Let's see Brandon launch his car. That thing sounds crazy. So like I was telling you guys in the beginning of the video, the entire purpose, let's see if we can convince Felipe to sell the V8 and join all of us with the BMWs. Bro, that thing sounds crazy. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't gonna be the first time that Felipe's driven the car. He's driven it once, but it was full bolt-on, no tune, no tire, no meat setup. No drag pack setup. Damn, Brandon's over here going crazy. Like I was telling you guys, it's not his first time whatsoever driving the car, but it is his first time driving it, tuned, full bolt-on, on a drag pack setup. <laughs> Bro, that sounds crazy. You ready to take the Super for a drive? We kind of got a lot of highway to work with down here. You need to chill out, little boy. <laughs> Dude, that know? thing sounds crazy, though. You're going to see in the video, it sounds sick. Yeah, honestly, you didn't even spin at all. I, I, I spin. It just straight took off. Should we show him the Supra, too? Let's do it. All right, bet. Hold the camera. Woo! <laughs> Looks like crazy. I think hooks took too Bro, much. You cannot do no donuts. You cannot spin it. I that thing's too do that. Oh, fuck, I think I got dirt my eyes too. <laughs> now that you guys finally got to see a dry launch, last video it was still wet, so we were spinning. I can already tell the difference right away. These wheels and tires are definitely putting in work. So I'm super excited to see how they perform this weekend. Now, the moment, let Felipe drive the car. Are you ready to go for a drive now or what? Let's go, let's do it. All right, let's let me hand over the keys. Me. We're about to convince you, bro, don't worry. All right, bro, you're about to hold my baby. So take care of it. Let's go for a ride and let's, let's see what you hey, think. Let's see if you can Hope. convince me. I don't know, I really love my car. He really loves it. Don't get me wrong, he does not hate his car. He actually really loves a Mustang. He's always wanted one, but we're the bad influence, me and Brandon, trying to convince him to join us. 
guys think I have all the money in the world or something? <laughs> you do, bro. Chill. <laughs> all right, let's go for a drive. Let's, let's see what go. he thinks. I'm too young to die, guys, so I'm going to be wearing the helmet while Fobo drives. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and put it on. You ready or what? Hold on. I'm too young to die. I'm He's too young to die, helmet. bro. There's no way. <laughs> Only because it's getting way too hot and I can't really hear Fobo talking. We're taking off the helmet. Driving the Supra today, let's go, let's see if Jose can convince me today. I let's go know. ahead and finally convince him to buy a Supra. <laughs> bro, those pulls hit different. Damn, bro. I oh, look, there's deer. Oh, shit. You're gonna, they're gonna think you're shooting at the deer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, if you're watching, we're gonna smoke you again. Downshift once. Go for it. drive the M4. It's also quick, but it feels different. It's like a different quick. To me, this car is just a lot smoother than the M4, but that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm being biased. Let's go on. We need to take you on a dig. You think you're too scared to do a dig, or you think you can handle it? I don't know. We'll have to see. A dig? It's just all the sounds the car makes. It just makes it more enjoyable to yeah. drive as well. That's that's what it is. That's, you guys can probably like. hear all the backfires, burbles when he's downshifting. I think we just found the new spot to go on poles. There's honestly like zero cars here besides the ones that we passed. I haven't seen any other car. What do you think about like visibility in this car? You think it's pretty bad or not? Nah? Honestly, I think what bothers me is this this pillar right here. Other than that, I mean, it's two. It's only a two seater car, but. I mean, I'm not gonna be carrying anybody. I don't care about that part. But another thing I like about this is not it's not a DCT transmission, but it shifts super quick. 
super quick and that's what i like you know honestly bro in my opinion i feel like this car shifts a lot faster than the m4 yeah it just feels a little delayed oh you haven't driven the m4 mm -hmm. but once you drive it you're gonna feel what i'm talking about it's like a little delayed you want to slow down right here and we can do another pull just let it don't don't downshift just kind of like let it slow down let's wait for this car to pass here bro you know what we need to do they saw it earlier in the vlog, but we need to find someone that's not into cars and take them in a pull. This that would car, be, that would be the and funniest the Mustang, thing. and the M4. That would be funny. Damn, there's so many cars coming now. So we just got one more truck that we need to pass. So give us like 30 seconds. All right, slow down right here. Let's slow down all the way. Let's do a little launch. There's no cars. All right, with your left foot, put it on the brake. My left foot? Yeah. Put it on the brake. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> All right, rev it up to like 2,000 and 2, then let 000? go. And then slam the gas. All right, let go and slam it. Feeling the launch, being passenger, that thing feels way bro, fuck, man. <laughs> That's too much, bro. This is dangerous. This is the dangerous part about this car is that it's so fast when it's tuned. Oh, you know, know what's crazy? We are gonna switch the tune to E50 this weekend. So if this feels fast, E50 should at least give us another like 30, 40 horsepower <laughs> to the wheel, bro, to the wheel. Like, this car is crazy, bro. Once it's tuned. Dude, once it's tuned on E50, it's going to be a completely different car, which I'm super excited to do this weekend. Are definitely putting in work so I think they should perform quite well at the drag this weekend we're gonna head back to where we have his car parked we kind of left it at a park and we don't want to leave it there for too long so we're gonna take off from here and we'll see you guys there in a bit all right we just got back to where Felipe's car is he's already out of the car but let's go ahead and get out and what did you think bro did we convince you or was it Honestly, I, don't know. <laughs> I think maybe We'll see. How does it pull compare to your Mustang, though? Uh, honestly, it's just, you can't really compare it, but I would say, like, this is just, like, aggressive. This thing, I mean, I, I don't really have a big tire in the back, but this thing, you do a first, like, a first gear, a second gear launch, bro, like, you're just, it just loses traction. <laughs> it's taking traction. off, like, yeah. It just, it just breaks traction easy. This thing, I mean, with the tire in the back, it just fucking hooks it. The wheels and tires are definitely helping us out a lot. Felipe did his first ever launch. Is that your first ever launch on any car? Yeah, honestly, I've never done a launch on, my, on mine. <laughs> so you guys lie. can see when he actually hit the brakes, it kind of stuttered a little bit because yeah. it's kind of like awkward hitting it with your left foot. But we did let him do a launch, which I've never let anyone do. That's how I know I trust this guy. <laughs> and you guys saw his reaction. I think I showed my reaction, but the Dang. launches are something else on a boosted car. What they say about Mustang owners always crashing is not true because I'm a Mustang owner <laughs> and I did pretty good driving this one. He actually did pretty good. I know we did some crazy pulls. Luckily, we didn't show how slow yeah, we were going. We're, we're going pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, we were going that. the speed limit the whole time, but, but we did hit some crazy speeds. It's a good we thing we're lie. in Mexico, though. Just remember Yeah, that. bro, you can't get in trouble in Mexico. All you have to do is run from the cops in Mexico, yeah. which luckily we didn't run into any. If he doesn't get a car like this, I know he does want to do some crazy stuff to his car. If you're a car guy, don't let your friends influence you into buying another car, but I did want to let him drive mine so he could kind of get the experience that we get every day. Yeah. This car, if I were to buy, the only thing with this car is that I'll probably get my CDL taken away with this car, dude, getting a whole bunch of tickets going fast. <laughs> Bro, believe it or not, the only ticket I've ever gotten in this car, I think was window tint. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's just because I drive the speed limit, bro. What do you mean? Yeah, because this thing breaks everybody's necks. You don't really see them. They're rare. Hey, let's just say that cops always go for the daily cars. <laughs> I've never had any issues with cops. I know Brandon has, but I mean, his car is super dark. So yeah. it's kind of easy to spot a black car with super dark tint. Mine, on the other hand, it is dark, but since it's red, it doesn't seem as dark. Hopefully, Felipe enjoyed driving the car. We're going to end off the video here. 
step two, find someone that is not into cars and let them drive the Supra for the first time. I'm kind of a little scared. It is quite a bit of power for someone that's never driven something with that much power. So we'll see how that goes. We still need to find someone. And I'll see you guys in the next video.